the prospect of being jailed for thought crimes is shocking. unlike most of the people here i can tell you that from personal experience. the british government has tried to jail me three times under anti free speech laws that state that telling the truth is no defence. so i am very sympathetic to chinese and especially tibetan dissidents forced into slave labour in communist prison camps. steps must be taken to prevent the goods they make being allowed to undercut manufacturing and workers in the west. But if one accepts that items made by forced labour constitute unfair competition, it is impossible to avoid the same conclusion about goods made by sweated labour, by workers who are not allowed to organise in trade unions in a country where there are no environmental protection costs. The truth is that all manufactured goods from China constitute unfair competition. Trade with China, far from being free, costs millions of jobs and destroys our manufacturing base. It is time to protect our workers from this unholy alliance of communist tyranny and capitalist greed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Griffin. And now, finally, under catch the eye, Mr. Bronze. Mr. President, whether or not it should be permissible to sell goods made under compulsion by prisoners must be de uh, depend on whether the prisoners have committed real offences as distinct from political ones. Uh, and of course, in China, we know exactly what the offences are. Whether the judicial system is fair, and uh, certainly whether the prisoners are being kept in humane conditions, which they are certainly not in the Lao Gai. However, whether or not other people should be permitted to buy them must depend on whether or not the importing, uh, the importing country wishes to close down its own factories and put its own workers out of employment. That should apply not only to goods made by prisoners, to, but, to, but to goods from any low-wage economy with which our workers cannot expect to compete. Advocates of free trade in the classic classical economics books always say that free trade makes the world as a whole much richer. However, does that, that does not mean that each country becomes richer. It certainly does not mean that the British and other European workers who are thrown out of work will become richer. Their interests must come first. Thank you.